Thank you for choosing our product and welcome to our installation video for Simpure T1 six-stage water filtration system. Here is an overview diagram showing the T1 installation connections under a sink. To install the whole system, you will have to follow all the steps below. First, we are going to talk about Quick Connect plumbing fitting. Then, we will help you prepare your RO faucet, wastewater saddle valve, feed water adapter valve, and water pressure tank. After placing the RO membrane and filter cartridges in their housing correctly, you are ready to connect the system. Cold water pressure check. Before you begin installation, confirm your cold water pressure is between 40 to 80 PSI using a pressure gauge. If lower than 40 PSI, a booster pump may be required. If over 80 PSI, a pressure reducing valve is required. Now, open the T1 box and check all the components that are present. Please refer to the instructions for details. Please contact the vendor if any parts are missing before starting the installation. The following tools are required to install the T1. Quick Connect Plumbing Fitting. When cutting the PE tube, use pipe cutters or a sharp knife, making sure you get a clean, square cut. To make sure the tube has been inserted into the connection correctly, and to avoid any leaks, make a pen mark 5 8 inch up from each end. That way you can tell if you inserted the tube fully into the Quick Connect fittings. To remove the tube, remove the locking clip and hold down the collar against the fitting and pull the tube in the opposite direction to release the grip. RO Faucet. The stainless steel faucet requires a mounting hole around the sink. One. If there are additional mounting holes already available in your sink, remove the cover and use the hole to install the faucet. Two, if there are no additional mounting holes available, use an electric drill with half-inch drill bit and create a new mounting hole. Before inserting the faucet assembly into the sink mounting hole, fit the faucet base gasket over the valve stem and place assembly through the hole. You can now install the lock nut onto the faucet stem thread under the sink and tighten it firmly. Install the Quick Connect straight adapter to the faucet stem. Make sure the sink faucet feels secure and will not twist during use. Waste Water Saddle Valve Find a suitable point to install the drain saddle valve and drill a quarter inch hole in the sink drain pipe. Using the supplied double-sided foam tape, remove the protective film and stick it on the saddle valve's inside groove. Using the quarter-inch drill bit, insert it through the drain saddle valve assembly to align the hole you drilled in the pipe. Then place this part onto the drain pipe over the hole. Attach the back of the drain saddle valve onto the drain pipe. Then tighten the bracket evenly using the fixings and remove the drill bit guide. Feed water adapter valve. Cold water shutoff valve to the faucet is used to isolate the water supply. Before we start, turn off the cold water shutoff valve to the faucet. Open the cold water sink faucet to release the pressure. Turn off after the pressure release is completed. The existing tubing on the cold water shutoff valve feeds the faucet. Now loosen it with a wrench. Remove the end of the tube or pipe. Please do not connect this system to the hot water valve or you will damage the RO. Now prepare your feed water adapter valve. Apply the Teflon tape in a clockwise direction for 10 turns around the male side of its half inch NPT thread. Connect the two 3 8 inch compression threads on both sides of the valve. Now apply Teflon tape around the male threaded outlet of the cold water valve. Connect the feed water adapter valve and tighten with a wrench. Now connect the existing tubing and tighten.
water pressure tank. Locate the pressure storage tank and apply Teflon tape in a clockwise direction to the thread for 10 turns. Hand tighten the tank ball valve onto the thread. Do not over tighten. It does not need to be very tight to obtain a watertight seat. RO membrane. Remove the blue locking tube clip from the RO housing end cap and disconnect the PE tube. Unscrew the housing cap using the RO housing wrench. Place the new RO membrane into the housing. Two small O-rings first. The large black chevron seal should be closest to the housing opening. Push the RO membrane fully into the housing and check the O-ring inside the housing cap is in place. Before reassembly, tighten the end cap using the RO housing wrench. Reconnect the PE tubing and secure with a blue tube clip to the RO housing cap. Filter cartridges. Install the PP filter in the right-hand filter bowl either way around after removing all the packaging. Next, be very careful when installing the GAC filter into the center position bowl that is the correct way around and all packaging is removed. The sealing gasket must face upwards towards the filter bowl opening. Finally, Fit and unpackage the CTO filter either way around into the right filter bowl and hand tighten. Once all filter bowls are in place, tighten all three against the filter head using the filter bowl wrench. System connection. First, let's connect the inlet tubing. Using the supplied PE2, measure the distance between the feed water adapter valve and the T1 inlet. Make a clean right angle cut with a sharp knife. Side the hex nut from the feed water adapter onto the softened tube and push the PE2 into the feed water adapter fitting until it has completely covered the stem. Now tighten the hex nut using a wrench to ensure it does not leak. Connect the other end of the PE tube to the inlet connection on the inlet water side of the T1. Fit a blue locking clip to the tube connection. Connecting the pressure storage tank. One, select the appropriate length of PE tube and cut it off. Insert it into the T1 pressure tank connection and the other end into the pressure tank ball valve. 2. Fit blue locking clips to both tube connections. Connecting the drain. One. Select the appropriate length of the PE2. Cut. Then insert it into the T1 drain connection and the other end of the tube into the drain saddle valve. Two, fit the blue locking clips to both tube connections. Connecting the faucet. One, select the appropriate length of the PE2 and insert it into the T1 faucet connection. Connect the other end of the tube onto the inlet of the ALK filter. Two, fit the blue locking clips to both tube connections. The system connections should now be complete. Double check all tubes are inserted correctly and have the blue locking clips in place. Congratulations, you have completed the installation. The next stage is to commission and flush the system ready for use. One. Ensure the manual flush valve on the T1 central unit is closed. Two, close the pressure tank ball valve. Three, turn on the cold water shutoff valve and the feed water adapter. 
4. Open the closet and allow the water to run to drain to rinse all components. During this time, review all connections and make sure there are no water leaks. 5. After 10 minutes, close the sink faucet. 6. Open the ball valve on top of the pressure tank and allow the tank to fill for at least 2 hours. 7. After 2 hours, open the sink faucet and allow the water from the pressure tank to drain. After a few minutes, the water from the faucet will get noticeably less. 8. Now close the sink faucet and allow the pressure tank to refill again for at least 2 hours. 9. After 2 hours, open the sink faucet and allow the pressure tank to drain once again. After a few minutes, the water from the faucet will get noticeably less. Close the sink faucet and allow the pressure tank to refill for at least 1 hour. The water purifier has now been rinsed and is safe for use. Enjoy the fresh, clean taste of healthy purified water from Simpure T1 6-stage water filtration system.